Hi everyone, I'm Jaffa Zhang from the Best Lab of UCLA, and I'd like to introduce our new work, Flex LLM. So, as we know that uh, the LLM inference delivers high memory access demands, leaving CPU compute underutilized, while current specific accelerators used regent architecture and live computation leading to no flexibility and accuracy. So, to address these problems, we developed the Flex LLMs a compostable HOS library for building hybrid architecture accelerator with the state of art hardware, hardware efficient quantization. So using the flex LLM, we can implement it an LLM accelerator in just two months, which has great accuracy for real world application and deliver better performance and energy efficiency than mainstream GPUs. And I'll show you a demo here. So it's a uh, a quantized NAMA 3.21B instruct model running on FPGA. And the left window shows our U2 aiding FPGA's power, and the middle window shows the quantized model running on the U2 aiding FPGA. And the right uh, window shows the full FP16 model uh, running on the AMD MI210 GPU. Let's see the first task. So it's a context clarification. And in this task, uh, we will uh, give the sentiments clarification based on the review sentence and also give a simple reason. So uh, let's launch the kernel on the FPJ and also run the program on the GPU. And we can see that uh, the FPJ will first run the preview uh, kernel for a while time to process the prompt and then it will launch the decoding kernel to generate the token sequentially and here it looks like that the gpu will generate the output more quickly but it's mainly because that uh, our fpga post program need to load the kernel load the whole model to the kernel every time but we can optimize it to skip these overheads so let's see the output and we can see that the quantized model on FPJ think it's a neutral motion while the model on the GPU think it's positive. So let's run them again. And also we can find that uh, according to the speed up, the speed recording, we can find that the GPU still has a great advantages on the prefueling, uh, like because of its massive computing resources. Uh, but the FPJ can achieve like 114 tokens per second decoding throughput, while the GPU only has like around 45. So actually, we can beat it in the decoding speed. And let's see uh, the second result. We can see that the FPJ think it's a positive, while the GPU think this time it's a neutral emotion. And let's move on to the second task. So. Let's this time let's ask the models to summarize the recent news, and it will also uh, for the FPGA it will also uh, launch the prefilling kernel to prompt uh, to process the prompt first first link and then after that it will uh, launch the decoding kernel uh, to generate the output. And uh, so it will spend a little more time because of the long prompt. And we can see that it also gives a very good uh, summarization compared to the full model. And here is the last task. So in this task, uh, we will do some like creative writing. So we let, let the model to write article according to the topic so it's something uh the some task or some task uh in the english exam so uh let, let's launch the kernel on the fpga
So here, uh, we can see both of the, uh, uh, like the model on the GPU and our farm has model. Um, the FPGA generate very good uh, article, and I think uh, both of them are even better uh, than the article that I write. So uh, let's uh, do a uh, let's try. And this time we can see that uh, the Qantas model generated a different article uh, with the shorter names, but it's still a very good uh, article, at least for the test. Okay, so that's all about this demo.